Hello, if you're watching this video, this is my how to, how I, how do I make, record, and upload a podcast using Audacity and Anchor. I'm going to go through my whole process. I'm going to record an episode and I'm going to show you from recording to uploading how that looks and how simple it can be to get your podcast going. So let's swap over to the scene here. So I have up my audacity i have up my anchor we're just going to go through it from here i use audacity to record my audio for my podcast because it's a very quick and easy way for me to record sound usually when i record a podcast i don't have obs open but for today for this video i'm going to show you how i go through how i do this and we're going to put an episode up so without further ado let's just uh let's just roll into it Welcome to The Daily Drolk, the show where I pick a topic that's top of mind for me and spend a few minutes talking about it. This show is special because this show coincides with my video about how easy it is to record a podcast and get started. And today's topic is sharing your knowledge. And first, let's talk about Anchor. So when it comes to sharing knowledge, we all have a collection of experiences and stories within us that can help other people. Oftentimes we find that there are things that come easy for us due to us learning them at a different time or being exposed to it or just being immersed in it that we take for granted. I've learned recently that a lot of people want to improve at recording videos. Video for me comes supernatural, like the show. I enjoy putting myself in front of a camera, in front of people, and entertaining. I like public speaking. I enjoy a large crowd. But for what's comfortable for me can be extremely uncomfortable for somebody else. So how can I work to transfer my knowledge to someone? Step one, you got to find people who are looking to improve. If you don't have someone who is wanting to level up a skill or change themselves, it gets really hard to motivate them. Step two, once you have found a person or a group of people who are wanting to improve the skill that you're good at, it becomes a mission for you to understand what barriers are stopping them. Ask questions. I did this today on LinkedIn. I asked the question, what barriers or roadblocks are stopping you from doing video? What is something that if you could remove it would change video for you? And I used that question to help me figure out what topics I needed to cover to make whatever I'm teaching on impactful for the person. Because I can go over my process. I can go over how I do it, why I do it. But if that doesn't answer the question of the person who is seeking to learn and seeking to know, then it's useless. So I want to find out and I want to learn first from them what is their struggle. And while you're learning what their struggle is, learn their why. Why does it matter if they are able to improve this skill? Why should they care to put the time in to improve? Why does it matter? That is extremely important for the simple fact of having a why can help when you inevitably hit a wall. The third thing I would do is get a gauge of where their skills are so you know you have the people who want to improve, you hear from them what they are saying is holding them back, and then see them in action doing it. Learn through watching them go through the task. I know when I was coaching staff, when I worked in a residential treatment facility through a restraint or through dealing with a chaotic situation, I wanted to see them handle it in real time so I know where their skills are. Because sometimes we can misjudge our own ability. Sometimes it's over, sometimes it's under, but it's better to get a realistic view of where those skills are. So if it comes to, let's say, recording videos, I would have them record a video for me. I want to see where they're at and see if there is something they're doing really well because I want to praise that. And that's step four. When you're teaching someone a new skill, praise the success and the progress. You want to call attention to the struggle but you don't want to emphasize the struggle. If I only dog them for the things that they do wrong, 
they're they're not receptive to learning. I'm just roasting them at that point. But if I can see the one, two, three, four, five things they're doing really well, call attention to that, I'm ensuring that in the future, there's a better chance that those behaviors will happen again. And that is how you coach someone up to level up their skill. So we have finding the right people, learning what they think their barriers and roadblocks are, seeing their current level, praising the progress or success. And finally, the fifth thing that I would suggest doing, once you have those first four, is just repetitions. It's running through it with them as you would as you've learned the skill. Most of the skills that you have developed, you've developed over time because you have been able to invest in yourself and invest in what you're doing to the point that it's become second nature. So run through it with them. Practice it. So, recapping the five ways I have found and the steps to be able to transfer knowledge from myself to someone else. Step one, find someone who is receptive. Step two, learn what they feel is holding them back from success. Step three, see them do it. Gauge where they are. Step four, praise the progress, praise the success. And step five, you keep doing it over and over and over until you get it down. Those are the five steps I would take when it comes to sharing my knowledge with somebody else. I hope that this has helped you. And if you are coaching someone or you're someone who is being coached, I want to know, what are you working on? Let me know. Be sure to find me on Twitter at TV. Send a message to the show and let me know what it is that you are improving on today. I hope you go out and absolutely crush it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, so I've now recorded my show. Whew, isn't that cool? I have my audio recorded for my show. Everything is here that I need. Now we're going to clean it up and we're going to upload it to Anchor. So the first thing I want to do is I, I'm going to amplify the volume, but I want to reduce the noise. And the noise is all of that extra stuff in the background. So what I'll do is I'll highlight a section where I'm not talking. I will go to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, go back to effect, noise reduction. I don't mess with these. I leave it like this. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. Effect, noise reduction, and I want to apply it to the entire track. So it's applying it to the entire track and it will clean up any of the extra noise. I'm also going to amplify the sound and I have found that if I amplify to negative 3.0, boom, it will amplify my audio. I don't know if this will capture if I play it. Let's find out. I don't think it's capturing it. If it is, cool. If not, listen to your audio back. You can tinker with these settings to get it set the way that you want it. And from here, all I have to do, I'm going to save. I like saving the project. So I'll save project. And we'll do Daily Drulk Episode 9. Save. I will export the mp as mp3 save and now it's exporting the mp3 to the desktop this is the hard part's over i've recorded my episode now i'll go to anchor i've logged in this is my dashboard where i then click create a new episode it's usually right here it loads into this and from here you could record the whole podcast right from your browser if you wanted to there is a library of previously uploaded audio if you have a segment of your show that you plan on reusing or you've uploaded episodes at different times. You have music, so you can add songs from Spotify to your episode. Messages, so if someone were to send you a message to the podcast, you could upload it from there. And there's transitions. There's music and sound effects that you could use for transitions. I've struggled getting the audio right, so I haven't used them. So what I'm going to do, I am uploading the mp3 of the episode as you can see right here upload it 
Can you give it a second? And I'm going to explain why when I was recording, I left a gap when I talked about let's talk about Anchor. Because I have a sponsored segment that I've recorded on here that is me talking about Anchor. And every time it plays, I earn a few like fractions of a penny. I don't know. Monetization. So we're just over 10 minutes, which is not bad. This is processing. It's done processing. I can edit the audio. And the reason I put the gap is I can tell. Let me turn my camera off here. Uh, boop. I can tell right here is where I intentionally put a pause for the break. So I can put that there. Boom. Split it. It is now split. Let's save. Save as multiple segments. And now it has split my podcast into the first part and the second part. What this allows me to do then is to put my sponsored segment in. So I do my intro. I add the sponsored segment. I've already recorded it. And since it's already in my Anchor library, I only have one. I just add sponsored segment. Boom. Put it in. Drag it together. Boom, boom, boom. My show is done. I save the episode. So, we'll call it the Daily Drolk. Share your knowledge. We all have topics and experiences that we can teach others about. Here are five steps I take when I am working to share my knowledge. You can probably write better descriptions. I know that's something I'm working on. My descriptions are not good. Just know that. Season one, episode nine, you can set individual art if you want. You can say this is a full episode, a trailer episode, a bonus. You set your content if it's clean or explicit. Mine's clean, I didn't cuss in it or have anything inappropriate. And now, boom, it's published. We have an episode of our podcast published. And this, the cool thing with Anchor, Anchor will put it to all the major podcasting platforms. And in five to 10 minutes or so, usually, it'll be on Spotify, it'll be everywhere. And people who use certain platforms to listen to you can listen to you there. That's what I love about Anchor. That's why I enjoy Anchor. And we recorded it, edited and uploaded a podcast in under 15 minutes while doing a video about that. So that, it's not half bad. But there you go. That is how I do a quick daily show upload. And now if I want to, I can put a tweet out. I'm going to wait because I'm going to actually tweet the video when I get it uploaded. And yeah, that's, that's really it. The... It's easy. It's quick. It's simple. It's easy. I really enjoy Anchor. And I am glad, if you're still watching, put Anchor's cool in the the comments if you're still watching this. But if you're not watching it, you missed out. You won't know why Anchor is cool. But everyone else, you know why. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this has helped. And be sure, I will put links below for Anchor, for Audacity, and for my own podcast, if you want to come listen to some other episodes, so, shameless plug, as well as some socials. Hope that you have found this helpful. My name is Drolk. Look forward to sharing more knowledge with you. Take care.